the podcast series of NMIMS Bangalore, NM Broadcast. Today we have with us Mr. Anish Baheti. He's a qualified chartered accountant, an MBA in accounting and finance from Australia, a certified life coach, trainer, and assessor, and a certified practitioner for brain mapping. He's the founder of Train My Brain and Concepts Coach and has delivered thousands of entertaining and engaging conferences. He enjoys long distance solo rides, exploring new countries and engaging with people from different cultures. Welcome sir. Thank you very much. So, how are you doing and how has your lifestyle changed during the lockdown? So, I'm doing extremely well um and uh, thanks for inviting me for this podcast just to answer your question. You know, since the last 8 or 9 months in the covid um uh situation, uh it, the life has been you know completely uh, in a in a online sort of uh, mode a uh, lot of uh, things have been shifted to online uh, but that's again um, you know a welcome change uh, you know that's what i feel like so yeah it's pretty good good to know that sir talking about your lifestyle as a life coach and trainer we would love to know how did you come up with the idea of creating train my brain and concepts coach great so um there are two specific skills which i think um which i believe that uh, god has been kind in terms of showering those two skills upon me uh, one is simplifying and second is inspiring so um i love to simplify complex uh, topics ideas concepts into a very um, simple format and that's how concepts coach australia has come upon um you know uh, into being and uh, the second skill which i feel is about inspiring people so i i feel that i can really touch the hearts of people and inspire them and um, you know make them think from their heart and that's how train my brain uh came upon uh into existence so yeah that's those are the two skills and those are the two different business models great sir coming to my next question since you have worked across diverse domains how important do you feel it is to explore interests and follow one's passion oh it's extremely important it is uh, very very crucial uh the earlier you get that in your life uh, it will be really beneficial uh to you in your uh, remaining years uh, i personally feel it is slightly challenging to um, you know discover your own passion or purpose uh because a lot of people feel that you know it's very challenging it's very daunting uh it will take a lot of time i don't have time and i don't have uh, enough resources or enough help which can guide me to you know following my passion another thing which i have um, um, heard from a lot of people is uh, you know how is my passion going to pay me or how is my hobby going to pay me in the future so these are some of the common uh, excuses and confusions which a lot of people are feeling uh, but i personally uh, think that if you start on that journey if you even take a simple uh, step or a, a very tiny baby step towards that sort of path it is going to be very very fulfilling it is going to be uh, it's going to keep you very very joyful uh, at heart rather than stressful in life uh, so it is extremely important it is challenging but it is very very fulfilling absolutely so now since we're talking about following one's passion let's come to the theme of the podcast ikigai which means finding the purpose or meaning of life what's your take on this and how does it correlate with your work well that's a very good question uh, and um, it is see i was actually um, i was visiting japan and that's how it all started so um, i was told that uh, people in japan are really really uh, happy uh, they are very joyful there is a particular village in japan which um, where the average age Uh, of a, of a person there is about 90 95 years that's an average age uh, and the only reason when you ask them when you interact with them uh, you know what is the you know what's your um, you know how you are so joyful and what is the secret of such a long um, you know life 
they have uh, apart from the good environment apart from the good food uh, healthy uh, you know um, air etc etc one thing which stands out is um, you know how do you um, you know they are so much enjoying their life they are so much in love with their life they uh, they have a reason for getting up in the morning and chasing something uh, and that chase is all about um, everyone has got a purpose uh, and if you are having a purpose it is like you are getting um pulled towards it rather than you pushing your life rather than you uh, you know fighting towards getting something it is just like a very sort of a smooth flow and when you are flowing it's it means you are not going against uh, your natural nature and that's the reason you are feeling less stressed if you are feeling less stressed it means you are leading a very healthy life so ikigai is actually a japanese term and it is as you rightly said in the title reason for being or why should i wake up in the morning uh, i um, personally i want to share a very very small sort of a, a background to my own story so when i was starting off so i was actually i did my ca uh, i completed my ca at a very young age of uh, 22 years uh and i started getting a lot of offers from a lot of companies um but there was a lot of um uh how should i say there is a, there was a lot of conflict inside you know the uh, i'm getting good job offers i'm getting good pay uh, pay etc uh you know recognition the brand etc etc but there was something which was missing uh which i always felt every single day at my work i used to feel that and thankfully um today i feel a lot of pride when i say this that i changed about six jobs in a span of nine months uh when i was starting off my career and it is so um fulfilling when i go back and think about that had i not done that i would um, be just going on sticking with one job or maybe just changing a job after five years and just taking promotion and, and you know just working for somebody else's dream uh and pushing my dream aside um and uh, it's good that it happened to me uh, early in my life and it made me think about my own calling it made me think about what is that something which i am really good at what is that something which i am really really skilled at and how i can start impacting other people how i can start generating revenue out of that so there is a good sort of a mixture which you need to have in your life so that you can uh, um you are actually doing something which you love to do you are actually creating impact on others life you are helping in a way and you are also getting paid for it so my ki guy uh, you know came from uh, simplifying certain things uh, so i usually simplify numbers uh, created certain products around it and then simplifying and inspiring individuals to pursue what they really want to do in life um and um, you know that's my ikigai basically helping people find their ikigai uh that's my ikigai that's wonderful so would you like to share some insights about the elements of ikigai passion vocation profession and mission and how can we implement it in our lives sure 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 so um, uh i'm just going to again simplify the four aspects which you have mentioned uh usually you talk about those four aspects but um, again if i have to just put it into a layman's term i would say there are three um three pillars to finding your ikigai or discovering your purpose so first pillar is all about finding out what you are really skilled at so what are your skills it could be um making a good dish it could be painting it could be talking interacting presenting uh, it could be anything what you are really really good at so that is your first pillar which you need to build upon the second pillar is all about finding out what do you really um sorry what is that something which people are willing to pay for so what do you do or what you can do or what you can offer uh which you know people will be very very happy to give you the money uh they won't hesitate to they won't hesitate to take out their wallet and give you the required sum of money 
So what you can actually get paid for. So again, you need to make a list of the areas which you can get paid for, or maybe currently or maybe in the future, no problem. And the third most important pillar, which I consider extremely important to know as early as possible in your life is what you really love to do. So it is something which uh, you would love to do for free because it is out of your passion, because you really want to do it. You don't care about the money aspect behind it. But that is something which gives you joy from inside. That is something which makes you feel happy. And that is the love part. So when you try and combine, there, is a, there could be a couple of things which could be common in these three pillars. You need to find that common thread. You need to find that common point. And that common point is your Ikigai because you are skilled at it. You will get paid for it or you're getting paid for it currently. And you love it. Absolutely. So when you combine these three aspects and you find that midpoint, uh, I think that is what Ikigai is all about. And it's all about then pursuing that one step at a time, uh, slowly and gradually, uh, you know, building steps, you know, uh, uh, along that path and then uh, finally coming out successful. So we've got to know that uh, you have a very unique way of interacting with new people from different cultures. That's by singing and dancing. That's pretty artistic. We'd love to know something more about this. Well, that goes with my travel um, as a passion. So I, I do travel a lot. So, so far I've traveled to 25 odd countries. Uh, and I personally feel that, you know, when you're traveling, um, uh, especially when you're doing solo travel, it makes you very, um, it makes you very open to different culture. It makes you very open to different people. Uh, you interact with them, you understand where they're coming from, your perspective is going to grow, your comfort zone, comfort zone is going to um, uh, become slightly more uh, bigger and bigger because you're trying to experience a lot of different things in your life. And I feel that the best way to connect with strangers and the best way to connect with people from different backgrounds and different culture is to get an experience of what they do. So, um, you know, food could be a good sort of a, uh, area where you can connect with them, uh, you know, wearing their dresses, wearing what they are wearing in their culture makes, gives you the vibe of that uh, culture, singing and dancing, what is their local sort of uh, entertainment, you actually get, you know, merged into that culture, even for a small duration. That is how you build connection. That is how you come to know about them. Otherwise, you know, you just go home, uh, you plan a trip to say, for example, London, you just check out, okay, these are the areas which you need, which you need to go and visit because this should be the checklist of a traveler. You go there, you just, um, you know, um, uh, sorry, in, in the list of a tourist, you go there, you pick the boxes and you say, okay, I visited London. Uh, another way of exploring London is just to go into those places uh, where a lot of tourists won't go. Uh, a lot of travelers would go. They will go and experience it. So I usually say loosely plan your trip uh, and just let it flow with uh, your sort of, um, um, you know, how the people whom you are going to meet, the strangers whom you are going to meet, they are going to shape your journey uh, and just experience their culture. Uh, go along with what they do normally in their day-to-day -day life to build better connection. That is indeed a very unique way of interacting, sir. And I think everybody should try it. So moving sure. on to my next question. We've heard about your concept of 52 cards. Would you like to walk us through a couple of your decks, like life deck maybe? Sure, sure, sure. So um, there are a couple of deck of cards which I've created. One is for the uh, making accounting really, really simple using um, a deck of cards. So again, it's in, in a span of 90 minutes, anyone from a non-accounting background will be able to understand accounting just by playing with the card. So that's one. And second, which you specifically asked for, which is life deck. Life deck is actually um, how to look. I personally feel that no one can motivate anyone. Um, even if, um, you know, if you think that, okay, I'm going to go to a session, I'm going to get motivated from this motivational speaker. Uh, you know, it's good. It's good for the duration of the talk. Maybe for one hour, two hours. Or maybe if it was really, really impactful, maybe for a day, you're going to remember it. 
but then after that you have um, you will fall back to your normal nature uh, and that's you know you will again go back to your normal life and it will be completely uh, wiped out from your brain okay the the thing which i personally believe is the only person who can motivate you is your own self so it is all about self motivation and um, that's how i came up with this concept of um, you know go through this deck of cards at your own pace if you are not driven to motivate yourself no one uh, on this planet can motivate you if you are driven to get motivated no one can stop you from getting motivated so it's a journey which you have to take it is the uh, it is uh, these are the steps which you need to take one card at a time these are 52 cards giving you a different perspective about life so things like what is stress what is anger what is pain what is meditation what is blissfulness what is purpose what is um, mindfulness um, you know what are needs what are goals these are different different topics which i have taken on life and explain it in a very simple lucid manner uh, which is easily understandable by a uh, 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 layman and then a book has been written on this card so it explains the card and then there are videos which has been created it's an on on demand video course which has been created on this particular card so the idea is that you work on one card maybe one day you just keep that card in front of you as a cue card Uh, and then you read about it, and then you do a lot of introspection. What is goals about? Uh, you know, when you are reading about goals, okay, how can I? There is a structure which is given on the card, and then you try and implement those structure into your life. When we talk about needs, there are six needs which we need to talk about. Which is that which is driving you today? Uh, you know, learn about anger, learn about pain, irritation. You know, what is depression? What is um, clarity? you know uh, these are different different topics it's all about giving you the spark and then you take from there you try and build upon that doing a lot of introspection so yeah so that's a very interesting concept so other than this are you working on any upcoming mm-hmm. projects sure so thanks for asking that uh, luckily um, i'm coming up with a brand new program uh, which will be launched uh, hopefully uh, on tuesday this coming tuesday and the program title is um, basically um, purpose to product so helping you find the purpose of your life and then how to build a living around it because a lot of people feel that you know it's very nice okay i can find my purpose but how will i make my living out of it you know how to make a living out of your purpose if you can find your purpose and you can start building a business if you can start building a lifestyle and a living around it uh it means that you are you are earning the you know right sort of amount uh, right sort of money to lead a reasonably good lifestyle and you are also keeping a healthy heart because you are doing what your heart says rather than what your mind says so that pro- uh, that program is going to be launched on tuesday uh it is a weekend program it is a one on one program uh, and uh, you know the person who uh, enrolls into that uh usually will be slightly intensive very interactive it starts the brain map to understand where you are from where you are coming from what are your strengths and weaknesses what are your likings dislikes what is your personal behavior preference uh it will be you know that's the starting point and then there are certain things which i've created in the module it's a eight step module uh it's a weekend course and um yeah just helping a lot of people find their purpose and build a living around it wow so that is amazing what is the main learning that you have gained over the years and would you like to give our listeners a word of advice so only advice uh, i would not even say advice the only suggestion which i will give um to anyone who is listening this podcast is this only do or rather only follow your heart silence your head because head is going to keep you um you know it's going to give you what the society wants uh you know what you should be doing at this age you should uh, you know uh you should have got your degree you should have got a good score then you should get married then you should have kids etc 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 uh this is what the 90% of the population is doing because this is how the society has been structured you should follow what it is saying you to do that is what your head is going to tell you your heart somehow knows exactly what you need to do in your life but somehow we silence our heart and we mainly focus on what our head is saying 
but i suggest that you silence your head and try and listen to your heart do you really want to go to that path do you really want to do this do you really want to go to that meeting do you really want to go to that event what is your heart saying when you start giving importance to what your heart is saying you will be amazed at how many insights you get in your life and one of the insight could be okay maybe starting something new in my life or starting a new chapter in my life or starting a new course or starting a new business you know completely will change the trajectory of your life it will be a turning point in your life uh, so this is the only suggestion my uh, entire uh, i think 40 years whatever i live um, you know i have found that if you start following your heart if you start listening to your heart more than your head chances are you will come out as a winner it might not look like a winning in the short span because you are going against the flow you are going against the normal society norms and you will be turned out as a weird or yeah you know uh, why is he doing that or why is she doing that etc etc but that is a normal 90% category which is which are trying to pull you back into their category uh, but if you are strong enough if you take a stand no no this is what i think is going to uh, you know uh, work out for me even if it doesn't work out in your life doesn't matter you at least took a stand you at least did something different you at least did what your heart said so that's the only suggestion tanvi which i'm going to give to all the listeners wonderful sir thank you so much for joining us today it was great hosting you thank you thanks a lot tanvi thanks a lot